Dear students, today we will learn the second part of the chapter Atmospheric Pressure and Winds. In this chapter, what we will learn here? Factors affecting air pressure. So here, four factors I have written that altitude, temperature, water vapor and earth rotations. So, uh, please see the first part of the video for better understanding. Here, first we will discuss that altitude. What is altitude height? So here I have drawn this you can see with increase of height that the air pressure it will decrease the negative marks I have or the minus mark I have shown here means the air pressure it will decrease and with the lower altitude the pressure will increase how it's happening we already have read in previous chapters that the lower level of that uh, or lower altitude the um, that also the presence of the gases or the molecules it always will be more than the higher altitude so when the gases or that molecules it will be more in the lower altitude or lower height it always will have more pressure than that higher areas that's why we can see that the mountaineers and the truck mountain truckers basically they used to carry that oxygen mask of cylinder with them because the pressure is very less and when we are moving that uh, higher altitude our body that whatever uh, yeah, pressure is there blood pressure that become more than the surrounding areas at the higher altitude and in that case we can see that some physical sickness there okay and that physical sickness it actually called the bends it actually called the bends and here this is called decompression sickness this is called decompression sickness or the bends in these bends what actually happened then nose bleeding in that case uh, ear bleeding and sometimes vomiting because the pressure we can't also it means uh, balance with the atmospheric pressure at the higher altitude and here students how much that the pressure it decreased that we can see it's it decreased one centimeter in the barometer that barometer that one centimeter in mercury barometer per 110 that meter of height okay or we can write 34 millibar per 300 meter of height already i have discussed this in that first part but here this is very important whenever you are explaining the altitude you should explain that or you should mention that the with how much um, that uh, the pressure is decreasing with the height okay temperature this temperature also very important we all know that where there will be uh, less temperature will have high pressure where there will be more temperature that area will have low temperature like i can uh, here explain you all know if this is just imagine this is r this is equator and we all know over this equator the sun always rays vertically due to that the that also near to that equator the area always we see low pressure zone because having more temperature having more temperature and having low pressure and whenever we are moving towards pole towards north pole and south pole that area as it is having less heat we are seeing that high pressure zone form here high pressure zone because this low pressure zone forming because in that high temperature the air surrounding areas air become lighter weighted and it rising up and then the pressure of the air is there low pressure forming and then in that north polar area which is actually coming to that we can see the um, uh, frigid zone area where always in ice covered where the, uh, the radiation of the sun is very less reaching there or slanting rays reaching there due to that the air is very heavy dry and it always descend that's why the air pressure is very high there okay so this we can put the example in that temperature and always we know that high pressure wind will move toward the low pressure area okay now the water vapor 
this is also we know that water vapor and uh, then when the water vapor present in that uh, air atmosphere or air that actually called humidity you all know that humidity so here um, we all know the normal and dry air always will have more weight than the air the warm air because in the warm air when it is also having the water vapor and mixing with the gases it is taking the places of other molecules presence in the air normal air having a high basically weight 29 gram per mole you know that more is basically having dimension less it's a unique it's time it's basically shows dimension less and in that atmosphere the atoms the ions molecules we can't show in any dimension so here that this is also this mole here it use mol mole okay so 29 gram per mole is present in normal air or normal dry air but when with this air that water vapor is there adding then it's become lighter weighted then we can see the air pressure it is decreasing mean water vapor means more temperature that's why it is uh, having more capability to uh, absorb the water vapor so in that case it's become lighter weighted 18 gram per mole when water vapor present in the air water vapor present in air okay so here students we can see the situation that how water vapor also it uh, influencing the air pressure it it is also related to that the temperature because when the temperature will rise up then only the air will have more capacity to absorb the water vapor and when the water vapor will be there then also the weight of the air or the pressure of the air will be less okay next the last point the earth rotation i think this chapter rotation of the earth you also have read and there you definitely have read about that centrifugal force we all know the shape of the earth the shape of the earth actually oblate sphere sphere and when it's rotating on its axis from west to east direction what's happening then this central part is that trying to move outside that is called uh, by that force of uh, by that force which is known as centrifugal force so that's why this middle part of the equator part is little bulge than the that also polar areas and these this also equator part always i already have explained the equator part is getting more light direct rays that's why having low pressure compared to that polar area the polar area receiving that slanting rays and always ice covered frigid zone having dry and cold air and in that comparison of the polar areas equator a equator or near by equator side always getting the direct rays of the sun and that's why the air becoming lighter weighted it's rising up and the pressure is there low hope students you have understood these four points and be with me to know more information in the next video until then thank you so much